Hey guys, this is me again, the Warlord1944, with another uh, haul video. Got some stuff from uh, eBay. Uh, went to the thrift store, found a uniform on uh, the Dutch uh, Craigslist. It's called Markplatz, as you uh, know. I, uh, from time to time, I buy some uniforms over there. This was a uh, uniform. I only show you the jacket, but it comes with a pants and two uh, uh, field shirts. It's uh, the only Dutch airborne brigade we have. We call it the uh, Luchtmobile Brigade, Air Mobile Brigade. And this is the older style uniform used until 2000, 2001. After that, they changed the color and a uh, little bit uh, other things. This is uh, for Van Heuts. It's an uh, infantry uh, brigade. And this is the second pattern patch they have. First it was on a different background, different colors. It shows an, uh, a falcon flying on crossed swords with a red, uh, red shield. The rank is uh, soldier first class. Or, uh, sorry, private first class for uh, you uh, US guys. We call it uh, soldaat eerste klasse. And he is in a red uh, army beret. As you can see, it's a maroon, uh, you call it a maroon, be uh, maroon beret, I think. Uh, it has the same uh, badge without the backing. And it's uh, red for uh, the air mobile uh, brigade. Otherwise, it will be on this, uh, this kind of beret for that time. This is a uh, beret I got with it. He uh, did not tell me, so it's a bonus. So uh, it's quite cool. It has the infantry uh, division, and it says in Latin "nulli sedo." That means I will win. Uh, I think I've used uh, to be in this uh, brigade. So I was with the armored uh, infantry uh, brigade. This is, uh, as I told you, Van Heuts. So this is the infantry brigade of the air mobile uh, brigade, and it has also a very cool pin. This is uh, an excellence badge for a uh, submachine gun. It says uh, PM on the bottom. That stands for a uh, pistol mitrailleur. So that's a pistol machine gun. So that's uh, a submachine gun. It also comes with a pair of dress boots, and here's the other stuff uh, that came with it. It has a raincoat jacket, it has uh, pants, it has two uh, field uh, shirts, it has the dress belt, it has the normal belt, so it's a quite complete set. Bought it for 20 euros plus shipping, so it was 26.75 for me, and uh, only the beret goes for uh, 20 euros on the internet, so it's quite cool. It's my first Air Mobile Brigade uh, suit, so it's quite uh, quite cool. I've been collecting from. Um, my 12th year on, so it's already 20 years I collect, and this is the first, uh, so that uh, will give you an estimate of how uh, how difficult it is to obtain one. This I got from uh, eBay Germany. It's a uh, Russians from 1941, and it says Kartoffelkarte, so this is for potatoes, in the year 1941, and it's for Wilhelmshaven, so it's the northern, northern part of uh, Germany. People had to uh, uh, cut these out and give it to the shop together with the money, otherwise you cannot get the potatoes. Uh, this one is also for Wilhelmshaven, it also has the, the seal of the of the Bezirk, and that's called the Gemeinde, otherwise uh, called a county in English. And this one is for Obst, the Gemüse. So this was for uh, the crops of the land, so uh, for instance, like say uh, spinach, uh, cauliflower, um, stuff like that, fruit. Then I purchased this one, this is a hundred guilder uh, bill, a banknote. This is from the Second World War. It is dated uh, 1944 on the back. It says Amsterdam 
27 maart 1944. So this is printed in Amsterdam, March 27th, 1944. Paid 16 euro 55 for it, including shipment. And the catalog worth is about 33 euros. Listed it online for 27.50. Uh, if I don't sell it, I will, I will definitely keep because a uh, hundred uh, guilder banknote they don't come up uh, that often. There's some stuff from the thrift store. Got these three little spoons. They got an entire batch full of stuff like that. Some old uh, lady died, and the entire collection went to the thrift store. They are asking from 55 cents a piece till 1 euro 25 a piece. Uh, I told my girlfriend uh, if something like that comes up at the flea market. I'm not a collector of this stuff but I will definitely buy everything because I know there are a lot of collectors from that. Uh, these are from the KLM. This is the Royal uh, Dutch Air uh, Company. It's very hard to get a focus on, but I'm gonna try. No, that's not working. It says uh, KLM and uh, three types of airplanes. This is a Boeing 737. This is a Douglas DC-3. And this is a Boeing 747. Sorry to not get a better focus on it, but they're just uh, taped on but they're quite nice I think they're uh, probably 1960s 19, uh, 1950s is too early uh, too uh, early I think but I think it's from the 1960s paid 1 euro 25 for it maybe I'm gonna sell it first I'm gonna keep it I have some more uh, KLM stuff I used to work as a customs official at uh, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, so it's uh, it's quite nice. I have some other memorabilia from that uh, airfield, so I'm going to keep it in a display case. Maybe I'm going to sell it onwards a little bit later. Then I've got two books. This is from the Dutch Marine Corps. This is the emblem, the Dutch uh, Marine Corps. This is uh, somebody's uh, story when they were in the... Dutch East Indies. We fought over there from 1946 until 1949. It's a quite cool book. And this is printed... Let me see... If there is something in it. It doesn't say a date. No. And I've got a book about the Marine Corps when they fought in Rotterdam in May of 1940. I've got another book already, also from the Marine Corps, but this is a different writer. But it's the same story, obviously. But let me see. This one is from 1970. They fought very bravely against the Germans in uh, Rotterdam. They fought like uh, lions, like for four days against a very big uh, oppositional force from the Fallschirmjäger, the, air pa the German paratroops and they called uh, the Dutch Marines they called them uh, the Black Devils because they wore black uniforms and they were fighting like uh, like demons they uh, they told in their uh, in their history books so it's quite uh, quite cool gonna keep it probably gonna sell it maybe later on but first I'm gonna read it Dutch Marine Corps books are quite uh, quite in demand because a lot of collectors out there it's one of our elite troops so it's always in demand books about that stuff okay guys it took a little while I got the video uh, probably will be making less videos because uh, my car is having uh, some issues probably have to uh, save up uh, some money to buy another car in the near future so uh, I'm not able to spend a lot of money now on picking I have to uh, reserve a little more money towards uh, my car and not towards picking but uh, I want to show you this and I'm uh, gonna give you another update if uh, something else is uh, coming up uh, with the mail or when I go to another auction okay guys bye bye